So, lads, we're here at the England pub in Ljubljana. We're hearing that Wayne Rooney uh, has been dropped by Gareth Southgate. What do you make of that? Um, well, I, I think it's been it's been coming certainly. Obviously, it's Man United exclusion um, under Mourinho. Um, wasn't too shocking in terms of Mourinho had to be more hardlined. Uh, he was slowing down play, um, not offering enough going forward. There's been sort of questions about his position for, for a while now, for over a year. Um, and against Malta, he, he didn't look on it. And obviously Malta, you know, Slovenia's a step up from Malta. I think going forward, he's 29 years old now. Um, so, uh, no older. So, he's, um, so you know, the, the future's obviously without him. Um, we've got a lot of other options in midfield. It, it'll be really interesting to see see how we play without him, obviously, because it's been been so long since we we played without without Wayne Rooney. If I can ask you, obviously, yeah, his uh, Roy Hodgson was kept a lot of faith with him. Sam Allardyce picked him for his first match. It strikes me it's quite a, a brave move for an interim manager to make. Would, no, would that be how you see it? No, I think um, I think Gareth Southgate saw, got a lot of balls to do that, really, to drop Rooney because he's obviously he's our captain, one of my most I think he's the most capped outfield player we have at the moment. Uh, he scored just over 50 goals or 50 goals now, so you know there's everything going for Rooney to start. But you know we've seen over the sort of the last two or three years that he hasn't sort of quite lived up to that world-class uh, talent or ability that we saw from sort of the ages of 18 to, to 25, where he was really at his peak. You know he was helping United win titles, cups, Champions League. That's when we saw the best of Wayne Rooney. But over the last two or three years, you know there's been a bit of discussion: or should he play centre mid? Should he play striker? Where does he where does he fit into United, or where does he fit into the England system? So I think it is a justified decision to drop him. You know, we should be looking to bring in other players that are younger, maybe not as talented, but I think it's good um, to experiment with the squad a bit because I think we're more or less going to qualify this group. I mean, that might be a bit cocky, but I think we've got the capability of qualifying in this group and getting to the World Cup. Whether that's with, without Rooney, I think. I think we should be able to do it. Um, you know, we've got Eric Dyer. Henderson's looked good. Henderson's on form. Um, he's got those sort of leadership qualities now as, as the captain of Liverpool. So I think I think it'll be good to, to see other players fit into the system and see if, how it works out in the future. It might be a bad decision, but you know, he's, he hasn't looked as inspirational as he has in the past. Um, I agree with Josiah. At Malta, he was pretty average. You know, he can spray a ball here and there, but. He doesn't sort of make as much of an impact as he used to. In terms of the captaincy, is there anyone obvious who you guys think um, has, that, has the necessary sort of leadership to, to take it on? Yeah, I, I didn't think it was much of a surprise when when Allardyce named it. Obviously, Allardyce is now not our captain, Southgate. So we've gone two recent opportunities to change captain. Um, I wasn't really too surprised by either of them keeping Rooney because um, he certainly has the leadership qualities. Now, I'd certainly like to see um, see Henderson given the captain's armbands. Obviously, Liverpool captain. Um, they've made a cracking start to the season. I think he di displays the, like Christian said, displays fantastic leadership qualities. Um, in terms of the future, I think the other options would be Smalling and Dyer, um, because they're, they're obviously going to be in, in the England squad for a, a long, long time, starting for their respective clubs. You know, very good players. And again, both both display those, those leadership qualities. Um, but for tomorrow, I'd, I'd very much like to see Henderson get the armbands, yeah. Yeah. We're at the England pub in Ljubljana and we're hearing the news that Wayne Rooney has been dropped for tomorrow's match. Uh, as a fan who's out here, what are your thoughts on that? Well, ooh. it's an interesting decision, I must admit, but to be quite honest with you, uh, can you think of anyone in the starting lineup who is nailed on? Really, if you think about it, our goalkeeper Joe Hart, what's he doing? He's in Italy at the moment, doing grobbelars. It's um well none none of them in the uh, starting lineup really is first name on the team sheet really. And so, obviously when when's the captain? He's been captain for a couple of years. Under in my opinion, should, in my opinion, he shouldn't even be captain. He shouldn't even be captain. And I know he, I know he's record goal scorer. He's probably the most. The bad the, the the armband's got to fit the arm. You know what I mean? You think of the uh, great captains we've had. It's gone. Yeah, that makes sense. Terry Butcher. Oh God. Brian Robson, uh, they fit, it fits the arm, you know what I mean? So it's an interesting thought, but if, if it pays off, Gareth Hel Gareth Hel the eight's a uh, genius. If it don't, he'll get slaughtered in the papers tomorrow, so. And, and what's the view, obviously, we, we heard a little bit of booing from the crowd in the in the Malta game at Wembley. From the fans you've spoken to, is there, is there much support still for Wayne, or is it on the, um, on the drop? 
it, you get some people who think Wayne Rooney is the uh, best thing since sliced bread, and then you get other people who just can't stand him. I'm part. I'm a bit sitting on the fence. If he's got, if he, he's, it's all right scoring against um, your San Marinos and your Lithuanias and even Slovenias, but he never does it against the big, big European teams. Where was he against Germany? Where was he? Where, where was he against Iceland except for the penalty? Invisible man.